Yeah, that's not at all. Uh, in the engineer phase, in terms of improving uh, the lean processes that you might be looking in your project. Um, for this module, you will need a basic understanding of value stream mapping and certainly the seven wastes in terms of what is non-value added and what is value added in a process. Now, the five S's, again, have been around for, for many, many years, certainly for the past 30 years. And again, were developed by uh, Toyota and developed in Japan as a good method just for improving workplace or processes, for improving standardization, for simplifying the work that we do. And in the 80s, uh, was popularized very much um, in manufacturing. And um, even in manufacturing, I mean, it was a whole improvement methodology in itself, not just a part of Lean Sigma. There were businesses that literally rolled the five S's out as an improvement methodology in their process. And I've certainly been around uh, many different uh, companies and seen it done exceptionally well, but also seen it done uh, very poorly. And I'll give some examples of that a little bit later. Now, in terms of the five S's, the five S's are really all about visual management. You know, visual management. And you can do the five S's as a project from start to finish, really. If you have uh, processes with poor standardization, where there are you know, many different departments doing the same thing, but all in different ways, then the five S's is perfect for that. So if you start out with that as your problem, then you might as well just do a project just on the five S's and follow the five S approach and out will come a very good result. Now, uh, Barclays uh, Bank, a UK retail bank, um, use this exceptionally well in their retail branches, really to try and improve the environment and the layout uh, and the mess that was their retail branches to go through and standardize the retail branches, really to simplify the work that was being carried out in those retail branches. And they, they got some very good results out of that. Now, uh, my mother-in-law uh, <laughs> knew about the five S's many, many years ago. And uh, she has this rule around the house, you know, a place for everything and everything in its place. And woe betide us if we put something back in the wrong place or in the wrong cupboard, it would be a disaster. Uh, everything was just so. And really, that's the heart of the five S's, is that principle. You know, place for everything and everything in its place. Keep it very simple, very straightforward. Uh, you know where everything goes, therefore it's very easy to find, very easy to get out again. And she, even to this day, lives by that regime. I mean, a house is spotless, unlike mine. Um, and this is you know, the principle, really, of the five S's. So what are the five S's? Uh, well, the first S is sort. So sort the rubbish out. Like in my mother-in-law's house, if there's anything lying around that shouldn't be there, has been lying around for five years, out it goes. You know, chuck it out. You don't need it. Throw it away. Uh, in terms of the second S, set in order, or known, also known as simplify. So simplify what you do. You know, if there's five different departments all doing the same thing, which department's doing it the simplest? And just copy it so that everybody does it the simplest way, like the standard way of doing things. So simplify it. Uh, really is very straightforward. The third point is shine or sweep, if you like, or even clean. Uh, something my mother-in-law does exceptionally well every day. It's spotless, but keep it clean. So put in, in place a process that just keeps it clean. Make it a regular thing every first five minutes in a day. Just keep it clean. If it's an office environment or if it's a process, put in place something design in so that you can't change the process, so that it keeps it clean. The third is... Is standardized. Now, this isn't standardize the process. This is what you would do in, in the first part, you know, set in order. That's where you'd standardize the process. This is make the first three standard. So keep sorting, keep simplifying, keep shining. Just build that in as the standard way of doing stuff. 
Uh, and this has, of course, great benefits. So it just becomes the way of working. And the final S, sustain. And this is sustaining the gains. And this is where I've seen some businesses do it very badly, if you like. They do the first two because the first two are easy. Throw out all the rubbish and sort of sim it simplify your processes. Usually the easy two. The last bit is usually the bit that gets forgotten. Yeah, in terms of sustaining the gains and making sure it really holds true, the self-discipline, if you like, of keeping it going. And in summary then, just to summarize the five S's, if we take the five S's, the uses uh, really are when you have you know, a chaotic environment that you're working in or chaotic processes, if you can want to improve just the workplace, which you can do, that can have some huge value-added effects, where you have many processes that need to be standardized. And you know, where you've already identified that there's a lot of non-value-added work that goes on. Then we go through the steps. The first step, step sort, uh, and we do our little red tag exercise there. Then we'll set in order, and there we might you know, take many processes and just take the simplest. Yeah. Then we'll shine. So we'll design in how to keep it clean. Then we'll standardize, and this really comes back to you know, just making the first three really the way we work. And then finally, we'll sustain. So this might be a review, assigning, uh, assigning responsibilities, and our little you know, 5S audit that we might carry out. And the benefits this give us, I mean, not only just that it might make a clean and safe environment to work, but it's certainly standardization. So it makes it much easier to work in that environment. Efficiency can be dramatically improved using the five S's. And certainly when it comes down to productivity and speed of doing stuff, uh, it has a huge impact. So there you go. That's the five S's. Thank you.